What is going on guys? We are back with week 8 in our 49ers franchise and it's a pretty big week 8 because we have two rather large breakouts. I'm not calling them fat, but you know, call it how you you want. Wait, does Debo not need a contract this year? Then what the hell are we trying to trade him for? I guess to be fair, we we kind of want to go with Tra Trapowski? Petrowski. Doesn't need a contract yet. Oh, he needs one next year. We could probably just keep him anyways. If he doesn't get the dev development up, we'll probably trade him. If he does, we might trade him, but no guarantee. You know, if he doesn't get it, it's almost guaranteed he's traded. But I don't know. Of course, here are the breakouts. Mr. Debo Samuel, just want to say last week, uh, I'm happy you involved me. I think I could be some sort of guy that likes to win. That's paraphrasing, of course. Uh, and then here goes Nick Bosick. Remember all the... How could I not... Uh, yeah, I mean, I really hope so. Stopping them to 50 rushing yards, honestly, might be our best chance. We'll find out. We'll also have to take a look at Russell Wilson and his abilities. I don't know, did they get rid of Wagner? Is he hurt? What's the story? Uh, I want to slow him down, and I think we do a pretty damn good job of it against them. Also, if you guys were wondering, I don't know why you would be, uh, I spilled a full cup of water. I mean, this, this mug thing, this... I don't even know what you want to call it because it's not a bottle, but it's a size like of a bottle. Probably holds about 30 plus ounces completely on the ground. And I yelled out, huge donkey cock in my ass. Just if you're wondering, thank you government for making me do these things. I'm not going to lie though. That literally, it did happen. It's just thank you for making me share that. So then they know that it's not for kids, not intended for kids. You know, it is what it is. But even though we know the breakouts, we don't know the roster, especially if you're new to the channel. Uh, if you are new to the channel, maybe like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at TropiCare. Hey, there's a bell as well. Click that thing. I don't know how that works, but, you know, do that, I suppose. Uh, here's the team, of course. Oh, Jared Cook. Change his number. That's We'll do that real quick as well. I remembered. Nice. Yeah, here's the roster. I mean, nothing much more to it. It's really damn good. Here goes Adrian Colbert. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of that face model. I, it's just so... It it honestly looks like Jeepers Creepers. It really does. I just... I don't get it. It's not a human. It's just... I don't want to tell you. It's it's just such an obvious, like, AI. It's clearly an android. Uh, but also, no one really told me, should we or should we not fix some of our abilities that are really unrealistic? I don't really think we should, but if you guys want to... I can easily do it, so, you know, guys like uh, Pettis, instead of double me, I'd say it would probably make more sense with Rack em Up, which would honestly technically hurt us, but it would make more sense. But then guys like Buckner, instead of Strip Specialist, we'd get Secure Tackler, stuff like that, you know. But the record show, I did have to restart because I accidentally held A and may or may not have skipped all the cinematics. And when you play in Seattle, I don't want to skip the cinematics because, once again, I think it's one of the best-looking sta stadiums in the entire NFL, probably a top five. I mean, that looks so sick coming in. And take that from a person who, as a Packers fan, kind of despises the Seahawks because they were the other team in the biggest collapse in our franchise history, probably. I would I would say so. You, know, you look at six, seven different plays, you completely change the outcome there. And it's not like it's oh, well, you know, maybe you should have found a guy wide open for a streak or something. It's literally like make basic football plays type of situation. I'm not even talking about Bostic. Fair enough, dropping an onside kick. That happens, you know. You can't catch everything. I'm talking about when you let a guy just walk in front of you, catch the ball, and he just walks in untouched, and you're just standing there waiting the whole time. You know, stuff like that. Just, just the small stuff, you know, things that knock you out of a Super Bowl chance and you know, sees the, the Seahawks not run from the two-yard line with Marshawn Lynch so the Patriots can get yet another Super Bowl. Just the small stuff, you know. Just, I mean, things you don't keep yourself up at night with. Man, I'm really usually pretty good with the fake kind of cry thing. That was really bad. I'd give myself like a 4 out of 10 on that one. I'm not I'm not a fan of that. That was poor. Ravens win the, I almost said the Super Bowl, win the game over Steelers. I don't know what their record is, but probably pretty decent. Here are uh, the Rustlers numbers. Not bad, really accurate as well. Seven touchdowns to one pick, 1,400 yards. Uh, once again, I think realistically the best chance is to stop this ground game. Outside of that, I don't know in the how or the way Nick Bose is going to get his goal. In fairness, though, he does get a lot of tackles for a loss. I almost just went offside. Nick, Nick, no! 
DK Metcalf already having a really good start to the game. Nick Bosa with a really good... I mean, in fairness as well, I mean, let's be honest. At this point, if I have merch or whenever I have merch, in fairness is going to be on, on the li wrong way. <laughs> it's going to be on there. Like, we're going to have one of them. Get off the line. Oh, my God. If Buckner was trying to go to X-Factor, he'd be in good spot. It's back-to-back -back play is doing really well. The thing is, though, it, would it be better for me to just play coverage? Look how many superstars we have, though. Better for me to play coverage than to... You know, ruin Nick. Oh, my God. I mean, we so far, out of, what is it, f three plays, we have gotten in there almost immediately, two of them. So, surely I give us a better chance to use her, right? I would assume. I mean, we're forcing the issue, but we're still giving up. Oh, what a hit. Forced fumble by Pierce, who just became a superstar himself. Nice stuff. I mean, we're getting burned, though, I will say. I can't remember who it is, and even if I did, I wouldn't expose them, but who the hell told me that Sherman was a man corner? What in the world? I still can't believe somebody, like, told me that. He just wasn't open. QT, though, great play. Debo just wasn't open there. Of course, that play was to him, but in general, that was one of the plays they chose for us. When the hell does Brita come back, by the way? It's been ages, man. Getting sick of it. Imagine Kittle with armbar. That'd be so nice, man. Uh, Debo Samuel over the middle. We have Pettis on the out route. Whoever's open gets the ball. And let's be honest. <laughs> as soon as I said the words Pettis on an out route, yeah, that was, that was, I mean, he's been so good. That's, I mean, it's a tough one. Ooh, good job to get in there. I should have been picked by Tart, the old niner. Of course, we fixed Jared Cook's number, so... Jared Cook catching the ball doesn't feel as gross anymore, and he gets the ball there. Third and seven, though. We haven't run it a single time. Let's get a quick play to Debo, and look at the block by John Ross. Say what you want about the man, but he is a monster. Him blocking is just, it's so nice. I don't know how he does it. He just gives a million percent effort at all times, and nice block. I don't even know if it was blocking. I think, <laughs> I think, uh... Henry's adapted to how bad this line usually plays, and he just threw his own block, like literally threw the guy in, and it blocked the guy. Now, maybe I'm just having flashbacks of some other game, but tell me Henry didn't just, like, grab the ball. No, but, I mean, kind of. <laughs> Kittle over the middle. Might have had Debo, but once again, I'm not too pressed about it. If we get it, that's great. If we don't, as long as we win. That's an amazing throw. I know it's way out, but... Back foot, that could have been so much worse. Up the middle, we do have to worry about a guy that's uh, looking directly over the front of us. Oh, there you go. And Debo with the catch. It was a risky one. Looked like they got Marshawn Lynch out there playing safety, but just enough timing. One out of three. All right, Nick Bose on the other side. Once again, I think sometimes I'm just going to let him work and hope he gets a tackle or something. And we miss hard there. We ran over a guy with uh, Josh Jackson. I think it was a lineman. Showing that effort. I like it. I'm still just trying to debate what's the best case scenario for us. Like, of course, stopping the run, we're doing okay on. We're actually doing really well on. We got to, you know, think about actually getting the stats. Because, you know, at some point they're going to bust one free, I would assume. Or just even Russell Wilson himself is probably going to have 50 this game. So I just don't think that's going to be a legit option. Come on, Nick. 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 Yes. There we go. One out of three. Okay. All right, Nicholas. Nicholas Bosa. Great coverage by the fellas as well. You know, you guys have seen they've gotten rid of the ball very quickly. Good stuff. Dick, son. Put it where you want. Um, put your jer jersey where you want. Oh, crap. Look at that move. Lads, that was so sick. Yeah, I normally don't go to practice, but I was forced to for a Titans thumbnail. And I started, you know, because obviously whenever you go into practice, you get lost in the moment. I was like, wait a minute. When you cut one way and then cut the other way, like almost simultaneously, it actually cuts you back really quick. Like I know the double juke, maybe it was Madden 25, was really good. But I didn't think it was kind of a thing this year. Good job with the stiff arm. Great tackle by uh, Marshawn. All right, clear out play. And once again, Marshawn with another tackle. Let's go with the stretch play away from the freak of nature that I don't like. Oh, come on. I know your power is stiff arming, but 
at the end of the day, okay, no need to calm down. Like, I get he's a good stiff arm player, but sometimes you got to just go with the momentum. Oof, that was a good throw, though, considering, once again, anything that doesn't get you picked. QT's back in, and on it's a very good play. However, this looks like zone, which I don't like. I had Kittle. Oh, Debo holds on for the touchdown. I had Kittle, but rolling out to the left, I thought he was going to move. I see myself doing that a lot in the Titans franchise as well. It might just be a bad habit because I'm not really willing to take the risk, but just something told me if I threw to Kittle there, it was going to be picked. I love how I'm trying to justify my like reasoning for basically forcing it to Debo, and yet you guys are like, yeah, Debo, two touchdowns, <laughs> and I'm just sitting here like, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, oh wow. Guys, don't think the sliders aren't hard. <laughs> wow. Nick. Nick. No. Oh, that is so heartbreaking. Could have had two out of three in the first quarter. All right, fellas. And once again, anytime we think it's a run, we got to just bring everyone up. There you go, Buck. Don't let him have it. It's fine. Take what, you know, do what you got to do. But could have made him lose yards there. I don't think it's a chance. But it is an option, so we gotta, you know, gotta keep the door open there. Second and nine could be another run. It's not. You cannot miss. Chris, are you all right? Third and two. You can't miss that play though. That's just so bad. Good job, Kevin White. Number twenty-four is doing all right today. Even though I'm pretty sure Kevin was probably the guy that got uh, that completely missed on Carson. Now, obviously, this team in right now is looking very good to win, but it's it's more important than winning at this point. Oh, do we hit the kicker? No, the glitch. I haven't seen it in years. I haven't seen it in so long. No. Here's the glitch. Here it is. It's been a while. Oh. Oh my god. Wow. Talk about selling it as well. He like shoved his foot inside of us. Like surely that's some sort of moral quandary. Ugh, I don't even know if that's a word. Composer with a great tackle, but that's a huge gain there. Like rushing touchdowns, obviously. Down to the one. That is so bad. Yeah, we're in a bit of trouble here. I mean, I'm just going to hope whoever's off that edge, Trey Flowers, just makes a play. There you go. I wish Nick Bosa was the one that got him, but. And Chavez, the rookie, drops a pick. An opportunity to end their drive scoreless. And Sherman misses. I, I thought we had a hit stick. I had no clue that 13 was just going to, like, basically wait at the one to be tackled. On one hand, Debo's likely to get his ability. On the other hand, I think boats is up in arms here I'm gonna be honest that was almost the most predetermined route I've had in a while I'm starting to like learn to trust curl routes again I'm not a huge fan of them but I can trust them and I was just gonna oh thank god well I say thank god I didn't trust it I was gonna chuck that up to Debo but he was running in, and he wasn't running a streak there or a wheel like I thought I still think he had a chance at it though I should have. Yeah, I was about to say, thank God it counted. I tried to go with a possession last second. Debo to the end zone, and of course, we're basically setting it up for Pettis to get open underneath. Uh oh. I literally ran out of time, and we fumbled the ball. Good coverage. I may have had the curl. I did have Ross, but it, would have, it wouldn't have been a first down. I, I try to run into the play and then throw it, and I think that's probably what caused the fumble in the first place. And that is. That's a tackle for a loss. Nick Bosa's one away. Nick Bosa is one away, boys. Praise the Lord. Somebody get back. Ooh, Buckner's killing it too, man. Nick Bosa was there, man. You got to get that, Nicholas. One of the base coverages. Normally it doesn't work, but the pass rush this game, I really should have showed you guys we didn't lower the blocks, uh, pass block stats. And we missed by a lot there. But as, like... As always, my number one goal is to have fun real... It was fourth down. I didn't even notice that. Fun, realistic games. I could care less about the abilities if it comes to the point of I would be willing to cheat for them. And he misses. Wow. 
Oh my god. We have to avoid those, Derek. I know it's not your fault. But like, somehow, just, like, override my decisions and just do it yourself. Get out of the way. Oh, no. I... You too, Debo. Like, what are you guys doing? Like, <laughs> you have to say no. No is no. No means no. What are the chances Bobby gapes us? What are the chances here? Decent chances, but I think we got it. I actually almost made that play there. Oh, come on, somebody. He's got one hand. He's got one freaking hand and we couldn't run him over? Come on, Derek. Like, no disrespect to Shaquem, but like... That's a risky one, and it's a dot. An absolute dot in the footwork was great. Beauty. Pettis deep. I mean, this route opened it up a little bit for us with Debo. They covered it last time. And that is a terrible throw. The ball, the, the receiver was there. Debo was there for sure. This is not going to work. They are really stacking. One of them must have a freaking ability. Kittle. Touch pass, drops it. Somebody hold it. Ah, oh, damn it. What a dime again by Jimmy. I know he missed that one throw there, but we're not going to crucify him for it. Every throw outside of that one throw has been amazing. Absolutely brilliant throws. I don't think he's going to score, but it was a quick look. Edges look like they might have been able to get free on us. It's all right, play. But that's the dangers of throwing to the one like that is you got guys that just want the score. Who doesn't? But got to secure it, man. Gotta, gotta hold on. It's a good matchup. Our defense is absolutely murdering them now, though. Once again, we're, we're looking good, but it's not guaranteed. So still looking to stop the run any way we can. And even D4 is getting involved now. The coverage has been really good. Might be time to lower our coverage stats a little bit. And I, I know we're insane. Pierce, you've got to be careful, man. Definitely look like he misjudged that ball. I'm just saying. I love Pierce, but holy crap. It's like... Scared me there a little bit. Nick! <gasps> I take full responsibility for my actions. Like, I didn't completely miss. I ran to him and held A, and my guy just kind of stood there. But I should have usered better into him, rather than de depend on the actual animation, which almost never works. Try to cut it all the way out. You know, as much as I try to make these sliders, you know, as realistic as possible, you got to remember who we are. We are a very good roster. We're the best roster in the game. And we don't even have Brita. And we're still the best roster. I will say, though, in some of these looks, they look unbeatable. Like, this look, I don't expect to get anything. Just going to throw it. I think Debo had a chance, and then he got bumped. Like I said, though, I didn't like it, and I still went with it because there was really not much I could have done. The, the man coverage, press man, they're god tier at. Mm, we're going to call a timeout because we did get the first gonna chuck this dangerous could have went with the possession but i think we get picked if we don't go aggressive there at the end of the day i don't really care about you know jimmy garoppolo's accuracy or you know, percentage numbers as long as he's taking shots jimbo's just gonna take a hit for nothing there gets literally so slow i mean when he runs up the middle that's a different story i'm like okay maybe he's got some speed and but when he runs out you just you just see it it's just like holy crap man you are old. <laughs> you are old and slow. They're on it. But Johnny boy, he's gone. No, he's not. Got to go out of bounds. You, you can't risk it. You can't. I, I think uh, Shaquille had him. John Ross with the play. As much as you should be grateful that you get the points, you got to take your opportunity. You know, maybe take a look. Debo could have a shot. I'm going to throw it away. Now, that's another thing. I, I It's a small thing. It's probably just a pet peeve thing, but that's another thing they got to do. I don't know if it's some if they coded it that way just so people couldn't, like, glitch. Maybe there's some sort of glitch you could do. I don't know. But when the ball is out of bounds and your guy goes up to catch it, he drops it every single time. I don't know why that is. It just doesn't look good. It looks ugly. Of course, we have them by two, pretty much. Here are the matchups. Across the league. Where are the Rams? Rams won against the Vikings. It's big. And some interesting matchups there. Nothing that too much affects us. Rams did kind of uh, come up big against a tough opponent. They're now 4-2, making a bit of a turnaround. 
John Ross with the return. Yeah, we're probably going to have to stop returning, especially that deep. Don't get me wrong, he's hell of a talent, but at the end of the day, we're just not blocking well either. Kittle. Oh, I was just going to take him. I should have taken Pettis. I pump faked. It, it just didn't work. That's bad by us. The worst part is when you have a play like that, it's very hard to get out of because best case scenario here, we run it for like eight. And if we don't, the drive's really over. Okay, maybe maybe we're in a good spot. So we get a third and six. You know, they didn't expect it. We got a power back. It's, it is pretty unexpected to, to try and take that shot. And Bobby is just so good. I, I really thought John Ross was going to take him out of the play, and he just, he just saw it all the way. On that play, I pretty much only look at the right side of the field because outside of that, I think you have Kittle going to the left. Great punt. You have Kittle going to the left on a drag, but, I mean, best case scenario, you're going to get a truck or two for the first down. But outside of that, I just don't I don't think you're going to win it. We had it, too. Like, that's just so bad. And we just completely miss, completely miss again. I think the second one's worth it, though. The first one, bad miss. Second one, worth the hit stick attempt with all that help. Something tells me this is, like, a quick play, some sort of, like, wild screen. Yeah, I mean, kind of a trick play. Kind of. Would have been nice if Bosa could have gotten a chance at that. Come on! Man, that sucks. Really good pull by them. Great job by uh, is it Quan to come in there and stop it, though. I mean, right now we're on par to stop them to under 50 rushing yards, which is just usually not the case for this team. Nick! We got to stop them, thank you. Less chance they have with the ball, less, you know, chance they get the 50 rushing yards. You know, we've used him a lot in the past, and he hasn't been nearly as effective as he has in this game. And he's been pretty much winning his matchup within two seconds every time. It's just that he usually gets a double team. Thank God they haven't actually double teamed him, though. You know, they have brought a second player here and there, but if they actually brought a double team, we'd be done for. Oh, there you go. Good blocking. Good job. Once again, if that's Brita, it's probably about a 40-yard gain rather than a 20. Or we would have been too fast and impatient and not even gotten the verse. You know, multiple looks. Speaking of multiple looks, this is the second time we've taken a look at this play. And Debo. Oh, if he would have broke that free. Debo with a really good catch there. I Once again, I do think when you have a breakout, your player does play better. They're not going to hand it to you, but I will say it does. Definitely seems like they perform better than average. Great catch by QT there. We're actually catching the ball insanely well right now. Overall, we're doing pretty well. We're catching a lot of catches that I just wouldn't expect normally. And then, it's, speaking of it, Kittle drops yet another easy catch. Up the middle. Henry doing about as well as he can there. Like, don't get me wrong, they have the numbers there. But at the same time, I, I still believe in the blocking. Last second, I almost did not see him. I went to the right side of the field because that route was kind of just a drag it out for Pettis route. But then glance on the left side of my eye. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We've got something. Wow. Come on, Henry. I know now we have a chance at Debo getting superstar, but I want a truck for a touchdown, man. Just give me what I deserve. Back in the end zone. Touchdown for Debo, and his scenario is complete. So in a situation like this, odds are very good for us. I mean, unless they bust a run free out of nowhere. We're in a good look. Don't. Unless they bust a run free out of nowhere. 20 yards away, and they have a whole quarter and a half. That's a run. That's a run. No, guys. Oh, is it not? Thank God. I really thought that was one of those throws behind the line. Either way, you got to stop him there. What are you doing, Sherman? Are you blind? That's a pick. That's a pick that takes away at least another five minutes of them playing offense. Come on, everybody. That's another run. Josh Jones plays it pretty well. He still gains several yards, though. Three yards. Nick. Yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much going to be 50 yards. What is Quan actually doing here? He hits him. I mean, Nick Bosa's killing it right now. He's absolutely killing it. Him going to X-Factor would be unstoppable. Well, hopefully it's not a... Well, it could be another QB draw. 
Come on, somebody. Hit stick. I mean, if we can come out of this drive with under 50 yards rushing on defense, we can probably just hold on to the ball. Great tackle by White. Because they're going to go for a field goal here. You know, this game, you know, puts them at a 16-point deficit. I think mathematically you probably have to look at the odds. What are the chances of getting two touchdowns and two successful two-point conversions without giving up any points in nine minutes? I think you probably go for that maybe. But then again, yeah, you're in, you know, you're in a situation where you're just like, okay, unless we're scoring three touchdowns, that's the outcome anyways. Probably shouldn't return it with a Ross, but you never know. Then again, you never know is a stupid case because we don't really want them to have the ball again. If we hold on to the ball for the rest of the game, he gets his scenario. However, if we hold it for a long time and then don't stop, you know, we don't continue the drive we give ourselves a very low chance of completing it because Russell Wilson's probably going to run for at least another 10-yard gain before it's over. And all this is irrelevant because we're probably going to end up losing the ball on the first set of downs. Great catch by QT. I first I thought it was overthrown. It might have still been a little overthrown, but overall good stuff. I'm just so... Con I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't think we can hold the whole clock. There you go. That's a really good tackle for us because that's going to put us at a yard short. But I just don't think we can do it. Like, how do we hold the ball for that long? I think the odds are better in the left side here. Uh, late tackle. I mean, at this point, we might as well just score right away, try to close the game out for the win because at this point, we can't stop them from getting the ball on offense. There's literally nothing we could do. Only way is if we give them the ball back by, like, throwing a pick or something, but I'm not going to purposely throw a pick just for a scenario. Kittle walks in, basically. Another NFC West dominating performance for us, but now the real question is, can Mick Bosa earn this, maybe? Great play by Sherman there. Kind of wish he would have picked it, but still. Come on, Nick, just earn it. Like, we don't even have to worry about the yards. You just, you just break free, tackle a fella. Bosa really good again, but once again, it's not going to matter because he gets the ball off almost instantly. Nick Bosa and company, if he would have gotten the ball out, that would have been sick. He's so good. He deserves this, man. Like, in fairness, he might just earn X Factor at the end of the season anyways, but there's no guarantee with that. However, here, we can guarantee it. It's not going to count as a run, and even if it did, it would actually hurt them. Kind of wish it did, honestly. It would have been back down to 40 yards rushing on the game. Give us a chance if Wilson decides to take off. Empty backfield is always such a scare for for that. Oh, I try to hit stick him. Third down and eight, and once again, unless it's a uh, a run by the QB, I think we're fine. So we're going to just put D Ford in a spy, I suppose. got to take that ball out, man. It puts them in a fourth and nine. You know, in that situation, we might have a chance to get off the, you know, win the game. I think it's just worth putting D forward in a spy for the rest of the game. Try to hold them. Oh, Nick is so good. Nick Bosa, superstar X Factor. Let's go. And now I'm hungry for more. I love how now they're running it. They would have they would have literally just cucked us out of our ability with that run. Oh my lord, thank god for that sack. Does this actually help them? I don't understand that decision. Why would that That makes no sense. There you go. Derek almost winning the game on that run. 150 yards for Derek Henry this game. That's beautiful. Like I don't want to see another scenario for an undeserved player like I don't even remember what Nick Bosa's game was to get to where he is now. Like, 90% of the scenarios we've been getting just aren't deserved. You know, stuff like that really takes away from the fun of scenarios. As much as I actually like the idea of X-Factor scenarios, I, I they just after that update, it completely ruined the algorithm. I don't know what happened. But they're just so damn common now. Once again, maybe that's the intention. Maybe they're doing that because progression does seem harder this year than other years. But at the same time, I don't know. It's a, it doesn't seem like it's an intended result. 
And John Ross will be the running back to finish the drive. Ross got involved nicely too. You know, had a huge play before half that set up a field goal, which really demoralized them going into halftime. 33-10 to against the Seahawks. This division just does not perform well against us. Outside of the Cardinals, ironically, the Cardinals actually have a chance. I don't know, those three teams need to just combine efforts to have one of the teams win. I don't know. <laughs> That's all I could really think of at this point. But yeah, that was a very good victory. We ended up with both successes big old turkey neck there look at him. he looks like a pelican there sean lee carroll john ross with a nice pick a pick catch but okay pick debo samuel that could be the thumbnail honestly nick Bosa, look at that just chasing him yeah debo had a really good game as well totally deserved same with nick obviously almost 500 yards of offense that's pretty damn special Pretty damn special indeed. Eight yards per play. I mean, that was just a really good game from us. Of course, Jimmy Garoppolo was superb. Four touchdowns, zero picks. That's going to help him once again. Try to inch away from that uh, that bad touchdown to pick ratio. Derrick Henry finally had a pretty damn good game. Debo, nine catches, 104 yards, three touchdowns. Kittle, five catches, surprisingly, considering he dropped like three of them. Two drops, I think it was three. I really do. Pettis, crispy route running. QT was decent as well, but overall, they actually played pretty damn good coverage. It's just their pass rush was terrible. Nick Bosa with two sacks and a tackle for loss. Two sacks for Buckner, two for Jaron Reed. Uh, who else do they got? D Ford, one for us. Really good sack totals for us. Both teams kind of got after each other. Hopkins with two missed kicks. Kind of brutal. Dominique Eckel with an uh, upgrade, which is nice. 78 overall. Plus one to power, one plus one to hit power. I just want power move, man. Power move and block shedding. Culver, I fell for it last time. We want blocking. We don't care about the scheme fit. Blocking, plus two to run block, right? Damn it. I swear those abilities you actually don't. Like those upgrades for the fullbacks, you don't actually choose what you want. It just gives it to you. At least with the utility, it seems like you get more upgrades. But like we got plus two to catching on blocking. Like how does that make any sense? Debo, breakout. What did I tell you, coach? Superstar to build, uh, upgrade. 2K XP for the guy. Here's Nicholas Bosa. Woo, man. <laughs> you see me out there today. We're going to make one of those sports documentaries about this game. What if we told you that one legendary defensive lineman was responsible for the total destruction of the Seahawks offensive line? In fairness, he, he's not wrong. Like, he's getting a little wild, but he's not wrong. I mean, he opened the door for a lot. Uh, so he's almost impossible. Just glad we got the win. I mean, we played well. I mean, we did well. I don't know what they're talking about. If he has unstoppable force, this team may have been elevated to guaranteed Super Bowl level. Does he not have his ability? Do we have to. Oh, we don't have him activated. I hate fear monger. It's useless. When they enter the zone, you can apply significant pressure on quarterbacks even while engaged. No one cares. Unstoppable force is the way, man. That sucks. Run stopper for Quan doesn't get his um, thingy scheme fit. That is atrocious. What a terrible upgrade. Um, so we have what do we have? Shutdown for Fred. Quan has shutdown or not Quan? Um, Sherman. I think we're gonna give Nick Bosa his ability. I think he'll be a little bit more important. Fred is not gonna be super easy to get into the zone. I mean, unless you get a pick. But yeah, this team is filled littered with talent now uh is Debo actually he's not even an 80 yet is he I'm gonna leave it here just for now in case you guys think we should trade him but I mean he's never gonna get to 90 80 is gonna be the best he gets what's his ability deep threat I think might be in and out I can't remember actually it might be I don't know what you need but in and out a specialist is by far the best you can get so let me know what you guys think of course we don't know Petrowski's development if we did, maybe that would help us out a little bit more. You know, he's going to be star at least. But for all we know, right now we could be sitting with an X Factor or a superstar. Like, we just don't know. We have no clue. Uh, you know, great trades. He's a really good player and he's only 22. Like, I personally think we should trade Debo now. But it's up to you guys. Let me know what you guys think. We'll sit on the, the bye week or the, not the bye week, the trade deadline for the moment. I think right now Debo's worth at minimum a second round pick as a superstar development player. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Of course, a great video. We move on to 7-0. We have two tough matchups, maybe even three coming up in a row. Could be three straight losses. Who knows? 
it's just this division. I don't know what it is. We just don't seem to lose. I, I don't know what it is. Outside of the Cardinals, no one really gives us too much issues. But it's always a closed division. So it is what it is. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya.